Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and I heard that today was Wednesday, and as you know, Wednesday is the day we ask the Herbert Erpaderp. The background video is, once again, PUBG. I've been playing that a lot. At the time I'm doing the voiceover for this, I have no idea which clip I'm using in the background, but I'm sure we end up getting murdered brutally, as is our way. Okay, so due to technical difficulties, my neighbour obnoxiously mowing his lawn as soon as I start recording counts as a technical difficulty, right? This is going to be a little shorter than I had planned. It was already going to be a shorter one anyway, but now it's shorter. Okay, so let's A some cues. On Discord, Duncanuva says, Hey Herbert, what is your favourite Sabaton song? Mine is Night Witches. Hmm... I can't say that I remember all of the names of their songs. I'm kind of bad like that. Night Witches is awesome. So is the one that starts out, Into the motherland, the German army march. I also really like Man of War. It's not a cover, but it's pretty much a cheesy Man of War song. If you listen to the lyrics, they're all just Man of War song or album titles. I don't know if it's a tribute, a style parody, or a bit of a joke at Man of War's expense, but it's awesome and cheesy and I love it. Because of you, I listened to a load of random Sabaton songs while working on the script for this video. I really wish I could use their music in my videos. Smoz or Smoz said, Alright Herbert, will you build any more airfix tanks slash ships? And what do you think of the company? I certainly will. I don't have any on hand at the moment, but I will probably pick up one or two next time I'm at the hobby shop. I'd actually intended to do that when I bought the Trumpeter Bismarck, but I liked the ship better. I'll probably pick up a few Airfix plane kits next. I haven't built any of those yet. Not since I was a kid. Airfix kits seem to be a bit hit and miss, unless you know which ones are good. It's hard to know. Some of them can be very disappointing. What I think of the company though is pretty positive. I've not had a lot of direct dealings with them, and your experience may vary, but mine has been very positive. I've spoken of the awful Airfix Bismarck kit I got and I did actually contact Airfix about it. It's actually Hornby you contact when you have an issue. But when I contacted them they were very quick to reply and they actually sent me a replacement even though I only contacted them to express my disappointment. So I think they have good customer service. When their kits are good, they're good. When they're bad, they're awful. Fortunately they are cheap so in general Airfix gets a thumbs up from me. Andrew SW said, What is your favourite Monty Python sketch? That is, if you watch them, which I don't believe you've stated, but you've made some references to MP before. Good question. I have no idea which would be my favourite. Off the top of my head, I like the one where John Cleese plays Adolf Hilter, or the one where they're talking about words that sound woody or tinny. Monty Python have a lot of really good stuff, so it's hard to pick a favourite. That said, I haven't really watched any of their stuff lately. Maybe I need to fix that. Also, there's a chance I was accidentally referencing them. Sometimes I make references without even realising that I'm doing it. I don't know if that means I'm awesome, or if I'm just forgetful and stupid. Kringspear Musketeer said, I think I've said that right. Will you ever build a one-to-one -one kit? Well, I've built furniture before. Does that count as a kit? I'm going to say yes. And it was one-to-one -one scale, so I've already done it. I just haven't made a video about it, that's all. And I probably won't. Potato-Ink said, Could you try King Arthur's Gold? It's a super fun game and you could give it the boost in player base it needs. And there's a link to the Steam store, which I will also include in the description if anyone wants to check it out. At first glance, it looks as though it's just a random platformer, but it seems to be a little bit more than that. It's multiplayer and most platformers that I've seen aren't. It might be a lot of fun, and I would have checked it out already if it were cheaper than $10 US. Which doesn't really sound like a lot, but I'm trying to be very careful with my money. I am tempted though. Does anybody else play? What do you think of the game? Is it worth the money? On last week's Ask a Herpet Herpeterp, Mr. Elite Zealot had a very important question. Will you share those strawberries? Andrew's Scale Workshop added, If not, were they tasty? I did share them. They were on my desk and they were just waiting for you to take a couple, but you never did. Come to think of it, I might have forgot to say they were there. Whoops. They were very, very tasty. I love strawberries. Bob Bob Bobbing Along said, I heard that the Dunkirk veterans who were at the premiere said that the movie was louder than Thing. Louder than the Thing? I get what you mean. I saw something like that too. They mentioned something about the beach being such a big open space that the sound of the bombs would just kind of dissipate, which I guess makes sense. 
There was an interview with one man who was there, I've forgotten his name, but he was moved to tears. Something he said was, and I'm paraphrasing, We're so intelligent. We can fly to the moon, but we keep doing these stupid things. It's true, humans are so smart but astoundingly stupid. That's a bit depressing. Moving along. Fog of War said, Tanks is a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. My nephews were struggling with Flames of War and Tanks was the right level of shooty fun. Personally, I would change the fixed initiative mechanic to a number plus a roll to make it a bit more random. My Comet always had initiative so I got to run rings around the lads. Just an element of random chance would be appropriate here to keep me on my toes. You could always house rule your own idea for initiative. It actually sounds a little bit better than the default rule to me, not that I really know much about the game. It would add some challenge to the game without making it that much more complicated, which I suppose is ideal for younger people. We don't want to confuse them too much. I guess some people don't really care for house rules though, but it's an idea. I'm becoming more and more convinced that I should get tanks. I think I could probably even convince some people that aren't much into tanks to play it with me simply because of how quick and simple it seems to be to play. So next time I get paid, I'll be ordering the starter set. Colonel Hartford said, The ship is the Bismarck 1700 Trumpeter Kit. Incidentally, I have two trumpets. When will you paint your rat? Have you considered Flames of War in 6mm scale? It's worth a check out on the old internet. It's less of a parking lot, more room to manoeuvre etc. You are right, that is the Bismarck. The video is up now in case anybody hasn't seen it by the way. How did you guess? Are you an expert on trumpeter kits or the Bismarck or do you just have the same box? Painting the rat is a goal on Patreon. When I reach $200 a month, I'll paint it. Of course, I might just change my mind at some point and paint it anyway and come up with a new goal, but for now, that's when I'll paint it. It's a pretty big project, and I have a lot of other stuff that I've started and want to get finished first before I start any new painting projects, especially big ones. I have briefly considered playing Flames of War in 6mm scale. It seems like a good idea for people that play massive games regularly, and I don't. In fact, I rarely play at all. But the main factor for me would be a need to then buy hordes of tanks in another scale to replace the hordes of tanks I already have in 15mm, which given enough time might happen anyway, so never say never I suppose. Haha ha, lol said, would you replace your car with Stronk KV2? What a great name. I guess it depends. For practicality, no. Mm, don't tell Stalin I said that. Lumbering along from point A to B in a KV2 sounds absolutely miserable. However, when I get stuck in traffic, or there's an obnoxious building between me and where I want to go, I would love to be in a KV2 instead. Instead of replacing my car outright, I would love to have a good strong KV2 in addition to my car. That would be awesome. I would be the coolest person on my block with a KV2 parked in the driveway. Antoniak Noob said, Greetings, I am Oudbay Bwudzobe John No you're not, I'm Oudbay John John No, wait, I'm Herbert Erbaderp. I'm so confused. So that's it for this week. A shorter than usual Ask a Herbert Erpeter, but you can take it up with my neighbour if you're upset by that. In other news, I'm super close to 3500 subscribers which is awesome and that means the Battle Beetle painting video will be public very soon, so keep an eye out for that. As always, if you have any questions you would like answered on Ask a Herbert Erpeter next week, be sure to put them in the comments section below, on Discord, which you should join, or on Facebook or Twitter. And of course, don't forget to do things like subscribing here on YouTube and following me on social media. Check the links in the description to find me. If you really like the things I do, please consider helping to support the channel over at Patreon. Patrons get to see my videos a bit early along with some patron only bonus content and of course access to the patron only discord channel. I shall return soon, so until then, happy whatever it is you're doing and thanks for watching. Farewell.